Today we're diving into a pet emergency that no pet owner should ignore. Hi, I'm Lyndall from Vetstoke, and in this video, we're talking about what to do if your dog has bloody poo. Imagine you're enjoying your usual walk with your perfect pup when suddenly you notice something that really stings. It's okay, don't freak out. The blood in their poo is not always an emergency. Understanding a few things like the type and amount of blood will help you in this situation. So over the next few minutes, we're gonna help you learn everything you need to know about bloody stools and dogs. Heads up, the content in this video has been meticulously reviewed by leading vets to veterinarians. So you are getting top notch, accurate and trustworthy information. Okay, let's turn it over to the experts. First up, there are two types of bloody stool and it's super important to know which you are dealing with. Hematochesia or fresh blood is bright red blood it looks streaky or jelly-like and it could be mixed in with diarrhea. This type of blood usually means bleeding in the lower gastrointestinal tract, like the colon or rectum. On the other hand, digested blood called melena is black and tar-like, with a pretty bad odor, and it's a sign of bleeding from somewhere higher up, like the stomach or small intestine. But what is causing this scary sight? It could be infections, dietary indiscretions, trauma, or other medical conditions and diseases. Stick around because we're going to break down the symptoms and what to do for each. Okay, did your dog eat something they shouldn't? Dietary indiscretion in dogs is basically when they munch on stuff they really shouldn't, like weird foods, trash, or even things that aren't food at all. This can really mess with their stomachs, and sometimes it's bad enough to cause bloody stools. Eating spoiled food or suddenly switching up their diet can also upset their tummies, leading to the same issue. Now, if what they've eaten isn't actually toxic or doesn't block their intestines, they'll usually bounce back on their own. But it's important to be careful because some things like rat poison or human painkillers are super dangerous for dogs and can lead to severe bloody diarrhea. Those things should always be kept out of their reach. Did your dog hurt themselves recently? If your pet has an injury or some kind of trauma, you might notice blood in their stool. This could happen if they accidentally swallow something sharp or if they've got a bleeding issue, like from a mouth or tooth injury. The blood from these injuries can travel through their digestive system and end up showing in their poop. Does your dog have a bug or are they sick? Viral, parasitic, or bacterial infections can definitely lead to bloody stools and diarrhea in dogs. The usual culprits for this kind of trouble include the notorious parvovirus and parasites, such as hookworms and whipworms. It's especially young puppies and those dogs that haven't been vaccinated who are at a higher risk for these infectious diseases. To keep these nasties at bay, it's super important to keep your dog's vaccinations and parasite prevention up to date. And get this, even healthy looking adult dogs might have worms and show no signs. So regular poop testing is a smart move to keep them healthy. Some other medical conditions and diseases that could cause bloody stool include straining from constipation or diarrhea, inflamed anal glands, kidney or liver failure, intestinal or stomach ulcers, cancer, immune mediated hemolytic anemia, heat stroke, inflammatory bowel disease, inherited or immune-related clotting disorders. Stick around and don't miss out on our essential guide on how to handle this situation at home and when you need to rush to the vet. So what should you do if your dog has blood in their poop? If you spot blood in your dog's poop, it's a good idea to check for other symptoms and take note of how much blood there is and what it looks like. If it's just a small amount of blood and your dog seems otherwise healthy, it might not be a big deal and could clear up on its own. If your pup starts showing other symptoms like vomiting, acting tired, not eating, or their gums change color, you should absolutely contact your vet. If a dog is experiencing severe bloody diarrhea or black tar-like stools, which suggest digested blood, it's an emergency situation. These symptoms can be indicators of some serious health problems, so it's crucial to get your dog to a vet right away. You should also seek immediate emergency veterinary care if your dog is passing frequent small amounts of bloody diarrhea or stool that looks like jelly-like clots. Finally, if you notice blood in your dog's stool for more than 24 hours, even if they seem otherwise okay, it's time to consult a vet. It's always better to be safe and get them checked out. You should also contact a veterinarian if there is a large amount of blood in the stool, the stool is black and tar-like, the dog has experienced bodily trauma, your dog is a young puppy, your dog has an underlying health condition, or if the blood is present for a couple of days with no other symptoms. If you're unsure, you can always upload a picture of your pup's poop right in the Vetster app. Our vets see poop all the time. All right, wanna keep your dog safe from the scare of blood in their stool? Here's a checklist. 
Keep up to date with shots. Make sure your dog's vaccinations are up to date. And use parasite prevention measures. Dog proof your home. Ensure trash, rat poison, and other harmful items that a dog might eat or chew on are out of reach. Be careful with feeding. Avoid sudden changes in the dog's diet and don't feed them table scraps. If you need to change their food, do it gradually to prevent stomach upset. Regular vet checkups. Stay on top of routine wellness checks and tests. This helps in detecting and treating any underlying health conditions or intestinal parasites early. If you're worried about blood in your dog's stool or have other questions or concerns, consult a veterinarian on Vetster. And there you have it, a guide to understanding bloody poop in dogs. Remember, your pets rely on you for their health and well-being, and being informed is the first step to ensuring they live a happy, healthy life. Thanks for watching, and remember, being a great pet owner means staying informed and proactive. So keep loving and learning about your pets, and we'll see you in the next video.